So the police officers in Jamaica are going to get dogs to help them with fighting crime. And a lot of people have a lot of things to say about this. But let's get into it. The article says it is said that a dog is a man's best friend. And for the police, they're also worthy partners in the fight against crime. Dogs have been a critical part of Jamaica Constabulary Force crime management strategy, particularly in the detection of illegal narcotics, firearms, and ammunition. In recognition of the report role these animals play in this and other areas, the government has moved to boost the capacity of the JCF, Cannon Davis, having kept having acquired 16 additional dogs between November 2017 and April 2018. This brings a complement of highly trained dogs to 61. Head of the Division Superintendent of Police Dalton Wright boasts that the dogs along with their human counterparts have been doing a tremendous job. We have found many firearms, illegal drugs such as cocaine and ganja and we have been doing various activities for safety purposes, he said. He explained that the division which comprises of 50% dogs and the other half humans are also specializes in carrying out search and rescue operations as well as cadaver services which involves locating human remains. That's very good. Our cadaver dogs have been working marvelously in the sense that they have been finding a lot of humans remains that are connected to various crimes. So they help in the crime fighting machinery that we have in Jamaica and will continue to do so, he, assur he assures. He knows that the operations are normally carried out at both international airports in Kingston and St. James, the central sorting office the Kingston Wharf and the Kingston Freeport Terminal Limited. We also do commercial checks at cruise ships, pyres, and very important persons, VIP protective services, he said, adding that the dogs of the Lab Labrador, German Shepherd, Cooker, and Spaniel, and Golden Retriever breeds are also trained to locate explosives. Between January 2000 and 11 and April 21st, 2018, the division's numerous operation led to the arrest of 193 foreigners and locals. The person were arrested for breaches of the Dangerous Drugs Act. The cases were brought before the court and disposed of, Superintendent White indicated. There are 224 drug de detections, including cocaine, amounting to 378.7 pounds, marijuana 8,480.4 pounds, Hanish 292 pounds and 72 ounces, hash oil 6, 656 ounces and liquid cocaine 14 quarts. Also during the period the division sees cash totaling 32605 in local currency and the United States currency valuing the US 32,520. Two motor vehicles were also seized in 2005 and they go on and on to explain how they're going to help um, with the crime fighting in Jamaica. And so far what I've been seeing from these dogs have been pretty good. I don't know if they're planning on enforcing them in everyday JCF officers hands or this is just a special unit that deals with special areas of crime fighting in Jamaica but so far so good and a lot of people were saying that if these JCF officers can't do their jobs on their own, how are they going to handle doing their job with a animal? You know, like I so said, the dog can chat and communicate and, and do all this other stuff. They can't. So how are they going to do their job while also handling a, another 
animal or another aspect of their job basically but they have been doing a very good job at apprehending and helping with crime do you think that they need to implement these dogs into everyday jcf officers hands like you have one squad vehicle have at least one dog in every single vehicle or at least have one dog at every single division in jamaica to help with the crime fighting in jamaica especially where drugs are concerned because i know that they are good at detecting smell and detecting drugs what do you guys think in the comment section do you think that it needs to be implemented in each division or they need to just have it the way that they have it now and have it in a specialized team that does specialized stuff and they're not in the everyday lifestyle or everyday job of the jcf officers do you think that the jcf officers can actually handle that because they do a piss poor job now of doing their job and following protocols do you think that putting in another element like a dog a dog will help or will hurt the jcf comment in the comment section what you guys think about this and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl here on youtube when they do the good, we try to big them up. When they do bad, we try to big them up. Actually, they're doing a really good job with these dogs. We would just like to see a bit of expansion because I know expanding this can only help, but they're going to need to do the necessary training to help the JCS officers to actually do their job properly with these dogs so they can follow protocol and all of that. But like comment share and subscribe to your girl here on youtube my part of here man deuces